Welcome to the NRL 360 Rugby League from every angle. Brought to you by NIB. Joining me again, Paul Kent. Let's bring the journos straight in. Brent Reid and Bulldog Richie. Let's get straight to tonight's Telstra top story. And Damien Cook has been axed from the Rabbitohs starting 17 as Jason Demetrio fights to save his job. Thoughts on this one? Oh, look, look they, they need a circuit breaker there at the club. There's no doubt about that. And the fact that uh, I think Latrell Mitchell's not playing this week, that provided... Jason Dimitri with an opportunity that he had no choice in. Cook's a bit of a surprise, but again, they, they need something to shake it up a little bit, Braith. So uh, I think good on the coach for, for trying to you know, shake, you know, mm. crack a few eggs to make the omelet, to be Ready? truthful. Um, yeah, well, I'm surprised, but when you look back at the game in the weekend, if you look at the period when they lost that game in the weekend, mm. I think they were 6-4 down in, in that period before and after half time. that's when they lost that footy game. And Damien Cook... Missed a big tackle in that moment. A couple of other guys, I think Sean Kepi and Tallis Duncan have gone this week as well. They were on the field during that period. So if you look at it from, a, uh, from that standpoint, I can understand why he's made the change. If you look at Cookie's stats this year, he hasn't been that potent with the ball either. I think he's got one try assist and one line break this year. So, And, and the other factor is Memozoulis. He's been knocking on the door for a long he time has. now. And he's been playing well. He's been playing well in New South Wales Cup. Played well when he came on the weekend. He has to make a change. As Kendy said, they need a circuit breaker. And this is the one... Yeah, they... Pete's been a good player for a long He's period of time. And he player. deserves his shot. He's been waiting in Cookie's wings for a while. But still to sort of wipe Cook completely out. Did you think he might, might have got a bench spot or was just get rid of him? I thought Where he could have been on the player? bench. I don't know. I'm just asking the question. I thought he could have been on the bench. <laughs> That's sure. Having said that, you know, it strikes me, Braith, as Demetrio saying, you know what, I've had enough. If I have to offend somebody now, I'll yeah. do it. I'm sick of playing Mr Nice Guy. Mm. I'm sick of molly coddling this mob. If I've got to get rid of a big name, I'll well, be I'm out. Look, that's been the mood out of the club the whole past week. The, the, for, for months and months and months now, they've been protecting everybody. And you know, we've, we started on this show pointing out a few things here that were not right. And uh, things last year, obviously, pointed out that weren't right. And the club's rallied around, circled the wagons. And there's been a, a clear change from the hierarchy at the club that says, you know what, enough's enough. Because we keep covering these guys. And they're not getting the job I would done. Say he's, not, he's not a bloke who seems to me that's been cuddled, though. No, Cook's Damien not. Cook. No, no so, I agree with you know, that. From that I agree with that. I think whilst he's, you know, he's going to go down swinging JD, I think he, the, this is purely a form decision. But his reputation as an origin player is probably what saved him from, from feeling the axe a little bit earlier, yeah. too. Yes. There's loyalty and then there's blind loyalty. Mm. Has JD perhaps been blindly loyal for too long. Well, just and now he's saying, you know what, my job's about to go here. My ass is in a sling. So unless I start making some changes, I'm out the door. We probably could have, the problem there is he probably could have made some changes a few weeks ago, but he's made the call now. Now, you've written an article tomorrow on the back page about JD uh, behind Wayne Bennett. What, what have you got? <laughs> Look, it's an, it's an interesting one to me. And to me, it points to the problem at South Sydney. I remember speaking to somebody a couple of years back when, when the, the, the club was transitioning from Wayne Bennett out to Jason Dimitro into the club. And, and obviously with the new coach, how, how do you think you'll go, all that sort of conversation. And somebody uh, who was at the club said to me, look, and I'm not going to name who it is, but Why they not? said, look, <laughs> it gets me in trouble when I do this, <laughs> right? Look, they just said, look, the problem they, that, that they projected was often when... For example, Latrell or Cody are getting a little bit sort of moody or whatever at training. Wayne would call a bit of a halt to it, call in the leadership group, get them in the dressing room with the leadership group around and basically in the rounds of the kitchen. Mm. Now, not both of them, but depending on who it was, and sometimes other players as well. And the guy told me, he said to me, he said, the problem is, he said, Jason Mitchell is still out in the field running the, running the drills and all that. He said he doesn't see that. But what he said, what he does see is Wayne come out of that meeting and putting his arm around Cody and joking with him and putting his arm around Latrell and mm. cracking a few jokes. And he sees the, the, the cuddles, but he doesn't see the kick off the backside. And he, and he said back then, that, that's what the problem he thought mm. could be a problem at this club. And I think that is what has happened. Yeah. What has happened now is that for so long, these guys will just keep getting the cuddles and they'll be right, don't worry about them, leave them alone, back off, don't criticise them, all this. And it's just mm. got worse and worse and worse, not realising that you need a little bit of bad cop with the good cop as a coach. And I think Jason Dimitri has been far too kind for these guys. And I think now that's the point, basically he's got, it could be, we could be over the tipping point here as far as saving his job. I hope for his sake, he doesn't get sacked. Mm. But uh, they are in dire straits and they need to change things around. And it's about time people started having that accountability at the club. Mm. I can confirm I heard the exact same thing 
at the exact time. So Kenny is spot on with this. And it is right. Like Wayne's just worked out the art of looking after every player and taking care of every player, no matter who they are, how they behave and how yeah. to approach that. And, and Wayne's the best at it. That's why he's the best. Well, well that's why we all think he's the bloke who needs to come back and fix this joint up, right? Because he knows but how to massage those characters. Is he the one? I, I, I don't know where else you go, Bray. I really no, but don't. Where else you go? You go. You get someone like Michael Maguire, and you come well, back Madge and, you, the and you, post sack, post, yeah. you sack Madge the guys the that aren't doing the job. And I think Madge would be interested. No, yeah, I, I think, think Madge would be. He knows that, and Madge does know that club sure the as well as anyone. Would be ready for Madge. That, well, that would make that would be. That's what they need. They kind of need a grenade to be thrown in there. To be fair, yeah. I think South at the moment, they keep hearing that Wayne doesn't want to come back to Sydney. They're interested. But they are under the understanding that Wayne Bennett will not pack up and move back to Sydney again. Wayne will come back to Sydney yeah. if it's the only job available. Yeah. Think, it, and I at the moment, we'll it's looking like it will be. With Sam, too, the power brokers at South are saying that, no, Sam, you stay in England. I don't think you, Sam will come you, back. You, you need, or he needs to do his apprenticeship. He's only but seven he, games he, into his career. Yeah. He needs Hold a on. good two years at is, is it, I don't think Sam will come and play... For the powers that beat the club at the moment, at the I moment. think that's the issue. I, I think that some of those people, the way they treated Sam last year, would need to be moved on for Sam to really entertain it, and that would be then a conversation probably between Sam and Russell Crowe. Sam doesn't need to come back now, though. If they get no, Wayne, he Wayne can do it for three years, and Sam comes back in the last Reed, year. It's you, a perfect you, you kept, Every time we brought up Sam, I, you would say to me, "Oh." Is that all you've heard? Is that the only information you've got? What do you mean? Well, you, you, used to, you were right behind the bunnies in the trajectory that they were on there yeah. for a long period of time. Yes. And every time I'd bring up Sam and what yeah. he'd said and the dramas yeah. that were there, you, you'd kind of go, oh, well, look, mate, is that all I'm hearing different? I don't know if I said that exactly, Braith. OK, what'd you I say? I don't know if they said that. What'd you exactly. say? Can we get the video out, Can we get the video out? Where's Mitch? Can we get the video out, Mitch? So it was a long time ago, so Bray. Do you admit that probably he was on the right... He was probably Well, I think he had some obviously some valid issues when you look back and... With the, with the benefit of history, yeah, he's yeah. clearly had some valid issues that mm. didn't get ironed out in the off season, and they should have. And I think if Jason had his, his time over yeah. again, I'm sure he'd reflect on that and go, I should have made some changes it, in the off season. It is a tricky one, though, because even if Sam does want to come back, it's the same hierarchy there that told him to go. But then the hierarchy... And who didn't support him. Who didn't support him. But now, are they going to kind of swallow their pride and go, well, hang on, we stuffed up. You're saying they won't. They, they don't want him back now. They feel that he has to do his apprenticeship. That's and there's no call. spot yeah. right now in the NRL. As I said, brother, he's had seven games as a head coach. Yeah. He cannot come back with mm. that uh, little experience and try to rectify but he could a come problem, with which Wayne. is festering. He yeah. could come with Wayne. He could come with Wayne, yeah. perhaps. Well, I don't think anyone's looking at Sam as a head coach of that club yeah. next It's year. inevitable he will be back. And yeah. it's inevitable he will be head coach at South Sydney. But I, th I think but Wayne, I'm, I'm with Kendi. I think if there's a job going... And Wayne's got no, no other options, and he won't have any other options in Queensland. Well, Wayne threw his hand up the other day for the Kiwi job. Yeah. Okay, he'll, he'll take the because that was the only job fair. available at the time. Yeah. Now, if you tell you can't tell me that in six weeks' time, if the, if the South Sydney job is the only job that's available and the only one, one that's looking available, because not many coaches really are under pressure other than at South Sydney, Wayne will take the job. Mm. I'll play devil's advocate. Is going back to Wayne Bennett, who left the club under. Not bad circumstances, but they weren't great. You got him to a grand final. Yeah, I mean, in terms of his departure, is it a step backwards? Well, from from when Wayne left or from where they are now? Both. Well, it's not. A, it's not from where they are now. They're running last. Not many coaches. They're last in the competition, Bulldog. But I'm saying, is it a step back? Is that they've got nowhere else to go? Let's go back to the boat it's we've had. Not before. It's not that, that, else you could take that. Well, there's not many options. Look, break. you yeah, could take that argument. And there, there is a real fear of a lot of clubs these days going to rookie coaches. Very few clubs have got the nerve to pick a rookie coach these days. You look at Titans have just got Dez back. You know, Souths are looking at you know, potentially Wayne back. Dolphins wanted Wayne. You know, young club, they've got the oldest coach in the game. There's, there's a reluctance go because they're tried and true, these guys. At least with Wayne, you know what you're going to get. And you know he'll come in and one thing he does immediately is, is start to get your roster into shape. And that's, that's such a telling thing. And you look at the South now, and this is where just Jason Dimitri have got a problem. You look at what South, have, that roster that they've got, they've got some real shortfalls in certain areas. And that's not the coach's fault. That's other people's at the club's fault. For either unable to get the right people or unable to get the deal done when they found the right people. So those people need to come in and help. And Jason Dimitri, he needed help at South Sydney and they haven't given him the help he's needed. And he deserved better. Wayne's not silly either. 
he knows that he's time limited, and he, when he gets to a club, he wants to win a premiership. And if he yeah, thinks that's he's not a build club, that's right. And if the squad yeah. isn't going to win a comp for him in one or two years, then he probably wouldn't want to go there. Which I think is probably the main thing.